Gona Candy Flavored Boba. So, let's get to it. How was your week? Oh, sounds wonderful. My week, my week was okay. So I haven't made a drink slash boba video in a while. And I thought, hmm, I've seen this Squid Game Dalgona candy circulating the internet. And I thought, hmm, why don't I make a boba video and have the boba pearls flavored like the candy in that game. So that is what we will do right now. We're gonna put some sugar. And we're just gonna keep stirring on medium heat until the sugar dissolves. Sugar's starting to melt. It melts pretty quickly, so we're actually gonna turn off the heat because we don't want it to burn. Now that it's nice and brown, we're going to add some baking powder, just a pinch. And we're going to see the magic happen. So we got a beautiful caramel color. And now all we're gonna do is add some water. So since the Dalgona has hardened, we are going to heat it up slowly on low and we're just going to melt it back into a syrup. So now that the Dalgona has melted, we're gonna turn off the heat and we're gonna add one tablespoon of tapioca starch. And we're just going to mix it. Now we're gonna turn back the heat on to low and we're just going to thicken it up a bit. All right, so now that it is nice and thick, we are going to remove it from the heat, turn off the heat, and we're going to add the rest of our tapioca starch. And we are going to gently incorporate it. And now that it's nice and incorporated, we're going to head to a nice table. And we're just going to dump it onto a clean surface. And it's still pretty hot, so you have to be careful. And we're just gonna gently knead it. Woo, it's hot. Ow, that hurt. Be careful or else you're gonna burn yourself like what I just did right now. I broke it. Wait, did I? What? Why did I hear a snap? <laughs> Still working. Oh well. So right now it's a bit dry. I'm gonna add a little bit of water just to rejuvenate it. So we got our nicely formed dough. We're just going to cut it into four pieces and we're just going to roll them into snakes. And if your dough dries out, just add a little bit of water. We shall cut them into pretty tiny chunks, smaller than you think they should be. And I've learned from previous experience. <laughs> so we're gonna take one piece and we're just going to roll it in our palm. Also sprinkle some tapioca starch here. So you can drop your boba. And I'm just gonna spend probably half an hour doing this by myself. So see you when all the boba is rolled. I made this little time lapse just for you because it's so cool just like you and look at all the snakes disappear that was not on beat okay i suck just kidding i don't suck Consamida. now that all the boba is done we're going to roll it in more tapioca flour to prevent from sticking let's transfer the boba pearls put our boba in now we're just going to let the boba float to the top as the water's still boiling on high heat. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so now that the pot is boiling again and the boba has floated to the top, we're gonna reduce the heat and let it simmer for around 20 minutes at medium heat. And we're gonna stir occasionally. And since this is a Dalgona candy boba drink, why not reintroduce the Dalgona coffee trend, right? Never too late to reintroduce it. Also, we just have too much instant coffee lying around, so might as well put it to use, right? So to the bowl, we're gonna add one pack of instant coffee, suga, and some hot water. And we're gonna do a little mix and mix. We're gonna do a little mix and mix. Now, if I was a normal person, I wouldn't use a hand whisk. I would use an electric mixer. But since I like to torture myself, we will do it by hand. Because it's more rewarding if you do it all by hand, right? I have to restart my potatoes. Let me know if you got that reference. That's an old vine reference. The timer is about, oh. There it is. Now all we're gonna do is give it a quick mix. Turn off the heat and remove it from the heat. And we're just gonna cap it. Now we're just gonna set the timer to another 20 minutes. And I bet you thought we were finished, but no, we're not finished. We still have to make the original Dalgona candy, obviously. So let's, let's do it again. All right, we're gonna do our little magic trick. And we're gonna let it cool down for 20 seconds until we press it. All right. Perfect. All right, so 20 minutes is up and let's see what it looks like now. This is the perfect look. Your boba should look like this, okay? It should still be a little white on the inside, that's fine. I'm just making a quick sugar syrup and we're just going to mix it all together. All right, so now it's time to clear the area, try to set up a nice aesthetic boba drink background. begin the taste test. I'm super excited. Let's, uh, what should we do first? Should we take a little bite of the Dalgona candy? Mmm! Very Dalgona-y. Tastes like brown sugar. A little bit of caramel. That's what I put in order to hold up the Dalgona coffee or else it, it keeps falling down. Today we won't be sipping from the opposite end, we'll be sipping from the correct end, if you remember from last video. First sips for you, mm, nom nom nom. Whoa. Mm. It tastes exactly like Dalgona. Candy. Mmm. Beautiful combo. Mmm. Highly 
recommend trying this recipe. Sort of complicated, but in the end, is it worth it? I think so. There's a slight Dalgona candy flavor, but overall, this is a pretty good drink. I put all of the boba in, so it fills like half of the cup. The boba is nice and chewy, nice and bouncy. The Dalgona coffee foam pairs very nicely with the milk and the boba, as well as this Dalgona candy. Very good combination, all three. Triple threat, three Dalgonas. So this gets like a choose stamp of approval. And I would totally make this again if I had the time. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post once a week. And I'll see you guys next time.